DWDM is one of the most commonly used optical multiplexing technologies. But does that mean you can just use any DWDM transceivers with the multiplexers? If you want to find out more, stick around. With DWDM, we obviously have the different grid spacing. So in other words, we have the 200 gigahertz, the 100 gigahertz and the 50 gigahertz channel spacing. Now, obviously you need to have transceivers that fit into those individual spacings. But in the 100 gigahertz spacing, so the most commonly used DWDM technology, you actually also need to pay attention which transceivers you use. Let me explain. Now, when we're talking about a 100 gigahertz DWDM multiplexer, the 100 gigahertz refers to the channel spacing. So what you can see here basically are three filters and taken from the center of those three filters, the spacing between these individual channels is exactly 100 gigahertz. Now, only because the channel spacing is 100 gigahertz doesn't mean that we have exactly 100 gigahertz of space to put a laser in. On the contrary, we actually have a much smaller window to do that, and that is this gray box underneath that filter. And that gray box is the so-called passband. And normally we have a passband of 50 gigahertz when we're talking about thin film filter technology. And a direct detect transceiver um, nicely fits into that 50 gigahertz window. Now, the point is, if we're talking about 400 gig and above coherent transceivers, the laser actually is uh, that little bit broader so that it can be that it is borderline outside of that 50 gigahertz passband window. Now, this isn't a problem when we're talking about AWG uh, uh, multiplexers, so in other words, your big 40-channel DWDM multiplexers. However, when you're talking about the lower channel count multiplexers, so 4, 8 or something like that multiplexers, then it actually is or can be a problem. It doesn't mean to say it doesn't work, but it's sort of the borderline, so it is that insecurity if it will actually work. So the way around this actually would be or is to use uh, um, thin film filters, specialized thin film filters that have a broader passband. And uh, so you can actually then, with specialized thin film filter technologies, you can achieve a passband of 75 gigahertz. So in other words, as you can see here in this drawing. And with that, you would then also be able to multiplex 400 gig and above coherent transceivers as well as the direct detect transceivers. So, I hope you learned something today. If so, please leave a comment. Also, let us know if you have any experience with this sort of topic. So, I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.